all right guys now we spoke uh, in the last video about signs in the heavens and we spoke about Venus being in Leo equals when the war is on yeah so what I want to get on to now is another sign in the heavens and one that has repeated in World War one two and is repeating now and that's the the sign of basically total now that's the that's the that's the most important word here now total solar eclipse with venus in taurus gives a three year warning at world war one in 1911 um around april there was a total solar eclipse venus in taurus so three year warning uh, 1911, 12, 13, 14, uh, April 1914, and then when Venus moved in to Leo, that's when the war was on, um, July 28th, 1914. The same thing with um, World War II. So there was a total solar eclipse, Venus in Taurus, and it was, I believe, I think it was June, June time. So, and that was uh, the year uh, 1936, 36, 37, 38, 39. So June, 1939. And then v Venus was in Leo on September 1st when the, the war was declared a war. So, because, um, you know, I looked at this guy on YouTube called Supernatural by Design. Now, um, what, what, when I said in previous videos about he, he he's kind of let his emotions of, oh, rapture now kind of thing um, get in the way. And what he's done is, what was incorrect about, because basically the Holy Spirit come on to me and he's like, the Holy Spirit come on to me, he's like, well, you do your own research. Like, he said, what's wrong with that cycle there? And I said, well... World War Three is not a total, it's not a total eclipse. So I looked into it, it's just an annular. I mean, he made it into something like a hybrid or something like this. And you know it's not it's not wrong, but we're talking about total eclipses, and we're talking about world war outbreak. Now, if you look at it though, um, from you know his point of view, he had an annual eclipse in um, 2020. In when was it? Uh, it may have been June. I don't know, but. In 2020, there was an, that annual eclipse, and yes, Venus was in Taurus. So then he counted 2020, 1, 2, 3, 2023, and then he got to this year. And then Venus moved into Leo, and there was a war outbreak. There was two. There was Azerbaijan and Algeria when Venus moved into Leo the first time in July. And then Venus swung around the sun and it come back round and it moved into Leo on October at the end of Feast of Tabernacles. And yes, there was war outbreak in, well, in Israel. You know about it because it was all over the media. But here's the, 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 the point. It was not world. Did you notice how all the... You notice how world, um, the world leaders, the world countries did not engage each other into battle. I mean, I said it on my last video, but I'll say it again. But did you notice how they did none of the world? They were kind of like, oh, oh, it's just, you know, Hebrews uh, killing Muslims. I'd leave them to it. You know, when they're bombing Gaza and killing all these innocent people. It's like the world leaders were more like, oh, you know, they were just like, leave them to it. Leave them to it. It's nothing to do with us. I mean, even 
even the regional main uh, Islamic countries, yes, they were meeting with each other and talking about it and said, this needs to stop. They didn't actually do anything. None of them done anything. I mean, you know, fair play to, um, who was it? Um, not Hamas, it was the other group. Um, can't remember their names. Uh, but, you know, they they started firing at Israel, apparently, as well. Um, and, uh, you know, but none of, the, none of the world leaders did anything about it. And world war did not begin. Why? Because that eclipse in 2020 that he took, which did have Venus in Taurus, but it was a, a non, it was not a total eclipse. It was an annular and so, but he counted one, two, three, and yes, there was a war conflict outbreak um, in that. But I was like, well, if he's wrong about that, I mean, so how, and God just said, do your own research. <clears throat> God just said, do your own research, back to the drawing board. You find out for yourself, you make a note of everything, you record it all down. And he says, but record total only. So I went and I recorded the total lunar and solar eclipses for like four years before the world wars and a year after the world wars. And then I obviously I proved the that he was telling the, you know, he was not telling the truth. I proved he was right about the um, World War One and two about the 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 Venus in Taurus three-year warning. But then I came across the truth. <clears throat> and the truth was um, there was a total solar eclipse this year, um, I it was over Western Australia. I remember, I remember posting about it. I remember, you know, um, Western Western Australia and maybe into Indonesia. They could see it, a total solar eclipse, and that was in April. And guess what? That's the one. Venus was in Taurus when that total solar eclipse happened over Western Australia in April 2023. So now that is actually our three year Venus in Taurus warning sign for world war. And that was the total um, eclipse. So we can count then. Uh, you know, 23, 4, 5, 6. So 2026 April will be our three year warning sign. And I know, you know, it's a long time away. I mean, I've got sort of mixed feelings about it. One, it's like, oh, it's a good thing. We've had a bit more, even though I, you know, I'm, all, I'm thinking that I'm ready. I'm ready for missionary. I'm ready for the, the seals to begin, ready for King William to be crowned king. I'm ready for UK mission and get back here. Actually, I'm in my Exodus field now. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. The only place I could get out of the wind was my Exodus field. And I'm ready for all that. I'm ready to, I'm ready, you know, spiritually, you know, um, like uh, pro uh, prophetically, you know, my script, my literature's all there. Uh, you know, um, the seal checklist, hundreds of, hundreds of them already printed out. My PowerPoint presentations, you know, I'm thinking if it happened, I'd be ready to go and I think I'd put on um, a good display of the prophecy of what, what's about to occur and, you know, hopefully people will repent of their sins and be saved before the throne hits the earth, which is an extinction level event. Uh, but like the negative side, well, it's like two and a half years away now. All right. Uh, because when... You got your three year warning and you end up in 2026, would have been like April 2026 would be three years from the total solar eclipse with Venus in Taurus. And then you go to when Venus comes in to uh, 
Leo, which would be specifically now the window is saying that it enters in at the very end of June, literally the last days of June through, and I think it got down till August. So all of July, maybe into August, is that window, very specific window of World War Three confirmed. Because, like I say, that, that solar eclipse that we had in May, um, April this year is the three-year warning. And the window when Venus is in Leo in 2026 is all of, Ju all of July, basically. is July. So that is pointing at July 2026. But here's, the, here's like the, the variable. Is it talking about the sticks and stones war outbreak of... Um, seal 2 and when I, I you know I don't mean any disrespect but what I mean is non-nuclear war you know where they're firing rockets that, or dropping bombs which are not non-nuclear non-nuclear is it talking about that that war outbreak of seal 2 Because the seal's going to happen like 40 days and then the throne hits the earth on seal 6, you see. Interrupts it before the war goes nuclear. Or is it talking about when the war goes nuclear, which is actually trumpet 6. Now, is there a difference? There's a big difference. In fact, there's five months difference because after the throne is hit in seal six and seven and he's caught away a great multitude into the heaven and he's sealed as servants on our foreheads and I'll probably be in this field actually when he does it, when, when the throne hits the earth, on the full moon, at the sixth seal um, and when he's finished after he's passed obviously trumpets one two three and four go bang 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 in fact they lock onto the earth before the rapture even happens they get a hold of the earth and it says they hold the four wind four winds back and the angel comes out from the east michael probably who has a seal of god who is the redeemer of living the redeemer of living and he'll come again in the second passing with jesus who is the redeemer of the dead and they'll both swing their sickles and redeem after, after as two witnesses and the 144,000 are caught up to the throne they'll redeem the living and the dead during that second passing but the first passing the angel just comes uh, with a seal of God from the east obviously and he says, don't hurt the earth, nor the sea, nor the trees until we have sealed the servants of our God on their foreheads. And the number of the servants who are sealed are 144,000 from the 12 tribes of Israel, from Asher, from Benjamin, from Gad, from Issachar, Judah and Joseph, from Levi, Manasseh and Nephtali, from Reuben, Simeon and Zebulun. No, Dan. Sorry, Dan. You did it to yourself. And so, um, yeah, he seals us, and then, then the great multitude are caught up to the throne. But then four angels are already locked onto the earth. And after the thrones pass, the four angels start. We pass through the tail of the throne. Uh, La Palma drops into the sea, mega tsunami across the Atlantic. Wormwood star, comet, asteroid returns to poison the water supply like the Black Death, the return of the Black Death. Then the sun goes out for three and a half days.
and then trumpet five goes you see and the bottomless pit is open yellowstone and then the the locusts come out upon the earth and they torment the people who are not the 144,000 for five months with a sting that should kill them a venomous sting like a st sting of a scorpion or a bite from a, a snake or whatever and you you would die from that but it says they don't die so they have to endure the pain of that venomous sting and that's for five months And here's the thing is what I'm saying about the gap is you see that and then that continues then them locusts continue for five months now it's interesting because the ancients said the ancients said recorded that Nebero the throne of God It's cycle from going past the earth, going up around the sun and then back past the earth again. Guess how long it is? Five months. Now you've got trumpet number five, which lasts for five months. So I believe what's going to happen is because for the rapture and for the trumpets to, ha to um, affect the earth, let's say, Nebero has to come close to the earth. That's why, you know, I laugh at these people like Jesus can come at any time. It's like, no. For one thing, the earthquakes are going to rise up as the throne Nebero comes closer to the earth. So, no, you, he's not going to become some quiet Sunday morning and whisk you away peacefully without any water. It's not going to happen like that. I mean, it's going to be without warning for people who don't know this stuff. It's going to be without warning for people that don't look at the seven seals in which I've laid out and go tick, 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 tick. <clears throat> He's going to hit the earth on the next full moon. So then, you, then that person, but many will not be able to listen to that. And it's going to be so much to him all. Everyone's going to be ah, sort of running around, market collapse and everything. There's going, to be a, there's going to be great tribulation from the seals, which are the 40 days running up to the throne hitting at the 6th, 7th seal. Anyway, so trumpet number six is when the war goes nuclear. And I believe that is five months after the throne has passed. So you've got five months of the locusts of trumpet five and match the orbit path of Nibiru, five months. And then I believe he, he come back and then he'll blow the trumpet number six and it says release the four angels from the river Euphrates and they'll go out to the east actually and they'll muster up an army of 200 million all armed with tanks and nuclear truck mounted nuclear warheads with our tails and them tails like serpents which have heads, nuclear heads, with them they do much hurt. so it's on and the the government are not hurt by these pl that plague because why they're still in their bunker since the passing of the throne happened in seal six seven and it tells you it says they go and hide themselves in the dens and the rocks of the mountains and say fall on us um from the face of him who sits on the throne Nebero. And the lamb for the great day has come for this wrath because they think, the Illuminati think, that if we survive this first passing, we're going to come out and rule the world forever and God's not going to come back and punish us. Little do they know, they don't know there's going to be a second passing at the end of the two witnesses.
So, um, so yeah, sorry I'm going on a bit, aren't I? But I just love this stuff, man. So you've got Trumpet 6 Nuclear, and I believe it's going to be five months later. <clears throat> so, July 2026, is he talking about Trumpet uh, 6? Nu when the war goes nuclear, that's going to begin in July 2026. Or is he talking about the seals? So if he is talking about the trumpets, what well, I, I believe he might be actually, because if you think about it, you got end of Ju end of June. Now, if you take five months away from that, you get to basically January. And what we've been talking about, we know the first, the second passing of the throne is going to happen at Christmas. It says them who are celebrating Christmas and giving gifts one to another and making merry, merry Christmas. It says they're going to put the two witnesses, the two prophets, like unto Moses, like unto Elijah, they're going to put them to death. And they're going to celebrate Christmas while they're dead. And they're going to watch it live that they're dead in the street. And it says after three days and a half, they're going to rise from the dead and ascend up to the throne, Nibiru. And he hits the earth, literally, it says one hour after they are raptured up into the heavens, caught up alive in a, in a cloud into the heavens, that's when the second passing happens. And funnily enough, when we did all this research about Tevet 14th, guess what? Tevet 14th is a full moon. That's, that's, when, the, that's when the throne hits, full moon, Exodus crucifixion seal six so what about you know it, i i believe that the second passing has to happen on a full moon and guess what man um tevet 14th is full moon and it's around christmas a couple, a couple of them years maybe like uh 2032 and stuff like that you know you have like if you had the full moon after christmas now that that wouldn't work you know because it says they send gifts one to another Everyone gives their gifts one to another. Well, obviously not me, like, but they give their Christmas gifts on Christmas Day. So this can't be fulfilled. The two witnesses' death can't be fulfilled after the uh, Christmas Day. So it has to be just before. Anyway, so Tevet 14th, um, it would be, or some years, uh, quite a few years, will be just before Christmas. And I believe it's Tevet 14th in which the two witnesses are either killed or three and a half days later, they resurrect. Personally, I'm inclined more now to believe it's, um, it's when they resurrect, you know, because God passed over the earth when Jesus was killed. Now, the thing is, but on the two witnesses, which are killed, you know, pretty much exactly like Jesus. I believe they're going to be crucified as well. Now, the two witnesses are going to be killed, um, and but God doesn't pass over until their resurrection. Do you see what I mean? Which, so that's, that's what I mean. It could be like three and a half days before the full moon of Tevet. <coughs> So, if the second passing of the throne happens in Tevet, now, what about the first passing? Because if you take this July 2026 and say, if, if it's the nuclear war, when the war goes nuclear at Trumpet 6, you have to take away five months from that, and you end up in January. And some years, I don't, I don't know about 2026... or 2025 through to 2026. But, um, you know, some some years, Tevet is like the 6th, 7th of January. So, I mean, you've, you've got both options. Uh, I'm, I'm leaning towards the, th the the first passing of the throne happening at seal six through to seven on Tevet 14th around maybe January time. And then five months on of the locusts and then you get to July and boom, the war goes nuclear. And that's when trumpet six 
would happen. That's what I believe anyway. So there you've got your, your three year warning of a total. It has to be a total. This is the, it's almost like a rerun actually, because you know, he's got his annual eclipse and he can't one, two, three. And the, a conflict did happen in, and funnily enough, it's exactly like Satan planned World War Three to happen. Satan says that it's going to be between the the, uh, the the Muslims and the state of Israel, so they destroy each other. So you know. If you're anti, if you're preaching, well, Muslims are satanic. Well, no, mate, because Satan is planning to exterminate them. Do you know what I mean? So he planned for Israel and the leaders of the Islamic world to destroy each other, and you can see how it nearly happened. And that's what I mean. It's a bit like a rerun, isn't it? But three years, pretty much three years from now, yeah, it'll be three years from now. It's going to be again. But it's a total eclipse that happens this year, 23, 24, 25, 26. So coming into July, like I said, it is going to be the World War Three. And like I said, you've only got two options. It's either the nuclear one, which I believe it's going to be. I don't see the Thelona pass, passing over in June or July, actually. Um, I believe it's Trumpet 6 when the war actually goes nuclear. And then count five months later. And then I believe that's when the throne will be passing at Seal 6, 7. Um, you know, around Tevet 14th. But it's one of them where... It's only going to start revealing itself towards the end of 2025. And then, obviously, we know for sure. I mean, if William's crown king in December or whatever, then you'll know. You'll know at the time, and you'll know, oh... That warning about World War Three was actually the when it goes nuclear, Trumpet Six, in five months' time. And you'll see Nibiru go around the sun, and then when the six angel sounds his trumpet, the war goes nuclear. So, I, personally, I'm leaning towards that now, you know, like the, the throne passing on Tibet 14th, and then five months later. So, anyway, that was the sign concerning, you could call it, the, the three year of Venus in Taurus on a total solar eclipse and the warning are, and the specific day time it's talking about now is july 2026 which of course is two and a half years away so take with it what you like and you might say now, well, Justin, that's just one little sign. No, it reoccurs. I can see that now. And yeah, okay, warning for 2026. But it's just one sign. My next video, mate. Ugh, my next video, I'm going to show you. Because remember, I, uh, I, I recorded <coughs> all the uh, total solar and all the total lunar eclipses for World War One, Two, and where we are now. Oh, and then I looked at them like sort of cross-referencing like that. Oh my God. It, oh, Jesus. Yeah, praise the God. And anyway, it's not one, but it's part of six signs that are identical to World War One. And this is almost like, I know how important World War One was. It created Israel. The British went in to, took over the Ottoman Empire. And in 1917, they created, they pretty much created Israel then. They made the Balfour Declaration and stated that, hey, the Jews are coming to live here now. And that's that, you know, like bullying kind of thing. 
you, if you Muslims have got a problem with it, you know, we'll, we'll come and back. And that was whatever. World War One, And you'd be so amazed on how similar, because like I say, this next video, there's six signs that are identical to World War One that are happening now. In fact, sorry, three of them have already happened. Uh, I'll go into it. Three have already happened. One comes after the war. So this is how, uh, and you know, I'll just drop it. This next solar eclipse in America, which is going to happen in um, April 8th, which is going to cross out America, um, that is number three. Uh, sorry, number four on the list of six. So even though we've got two and a half years, really, uh, there's, there's only two more signs left, uh, identical signs, I mean, until the time of World War Three, which we know now, obviously, July um 2026 but you know like i say i i i'm leaning to believe that the throne will pass on to that which puts us at the end of 25 into 26 so um yeah but this next one i'm going to show you the six identical signs uh three have already passed come april 8th the fourth one will be passed but um yeah so uh, thanks for watching god bless you all Please pray God and ask him for forgiveness of your sins for the time. <laughs> I would say the time is short, but you know, you might think, oh, Justin, do you really believe this is a proper sign? I'm like, yeah, you've got this identical sign of three years. And you might, like as you said, you might think this, oh, it's only one sign. But this next one, mate, six has made me to believe, oh my, you know, I nearly, I nearly puked when I revelated this. And you'll see, I'll post a picture actually of my um, highlighting and you'll see the identical ones. I nearly threw up, man, when I seen this and I was like, oh my God, this is incredible. And it and it backs up uh, the, the war of July, 2026. And so, uh, yeah, but pray anyway, and just pray God and see what, see what he wants us to do in the next two years, because like like i'm saying i 75 percent. i mean you know i'm not gonna say lay back and say oh you know don't worry about anything until two years time you know then start thinking about god in you know the fall of 2025 uh and in fact there was a lot of stuff that was appearing like prophecy and there was stuff like I was reading, you know, I posted something about the Enoch thing where he says he's seen the 10,000 times, 10,000 of thousands of the thousands of the angels who are part of the um, uh, inheritance event. Of Revelation 5. <clears throat> he's seen them, but he said it was the 14th day of the seventh month, which is the Feast of Tabernacles. So, you know, I, I was like, I was so, do you know what I mean? It's all these little things add up. So if the inheritance event had happened on the Feast of Tabernacles, Israel brings forward, all the animals sing, ready for the seals to open. But then if God gives us a little break and, you know, a, a gap in between, and then the seals begin in like November, December, you know, it, it gives me enough time. I always went to go for a mission to India and Pakistan uh, before the seals and after the inheritance event. And that's always been my covenant. When the inheritance event happens, I'm 
William is not to be crowned king yet, I'd go to India and Pakistan and do that mission. <coughs> so there's so much, there's so much stuff that around your feet, uh, and obviously um, uh, Feast of Trumpets, day 3.5 of Feast of Trumpets, which is also Rosh Hashanah, is Jesus' actual birthday. Uh, I think in 2025 20, he's going to be eight years old, which is the number of completion. That's why there's eight days in the Feast of um, Tabernacles, because it was originally the last feast of the year. So God saying eight complete, That's that completes my feast for the year. Eight days of that feast, because Passover is seven. Feast of Tabernacles is eight, eight, but that completes my feast for the year. <clears throat> and so, um, yeah, but so much stuff was around the Feast of Tabernacles that it's, it's hard to ignore. So, you know, all these different things, you know, um, like I said, we just have to wait and see. And towards, towards the Feast of Trumpets of 2025, obviously we'll know more about this, but... You know, I'm 70, looking at all this stuff now that I'm telling you, I'm 75% sure uh, about this, what I'm talking about, about the tribulation not beginning until at least 2025 fall through to 2026. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm like, probably more than 75. I'm probably about 90% sure about this. Um, but I'm not saying, you know, forget about it or don't don't be watching or don't, you know, because I'm still going to be watching. It's just you've got like two two years um, before it comes and two years is a long time. So um, just pray God and ask him what he wants you to do in these next couple of years. I mean, this is what I want. Ask yourself this. I mean, ask yourself this question. Do you think today people are ready to meet God? Do you think people are ready to meet the throne of God in the barrel? Do you think people are ready for an extinction level event? Like the, well, probably worse than the world's seen before, but like the Noah's flood, uh, the crucifixion and the black death, all these things that have happened in the past. Do you think people are really ready to meet God? Do you really think they're ready to meet the barrel, the throne of God? Do you really think they're ready for a, new, a world nuclear war which in, ex in itself is an extinction revel. Do you think people are ready for extinction? No. I mean, like I say, you know, I've done what I can. I've got a load of Exodus stuff and some solar panels and generator and stuff like that. But I'm probably, I, there's probably more I could do. So, you know, praise God for this next two years that we're going to have. Because like I say, I'm 90% sure about this now. Um, that we've that we've got another two years, so um, just pray God and see what He wants you to do. Maybe I don't know. Maybe He wants you to move. Maybe He wants you to go to a uh, safe haven, like the Appalachian Mountains or something like that. Or you know, maybe He wants to I don't know, sell your house or get ready or get your homestead in order, stock up, stock up on stuff like. So <clears throat> you know, we we've got the time. So just pray God and ask Him what He wants you to do with the time. Um, obviously the war for spirits, the war for souls, sorry, is going to be a quick one, but, uh, but you know, that's going to be at the right time. You know, people, you go preach to people these days and they just don't want to hear it. But when the seals come and when the seals start pulling on their heartstrings, that's when they're going to want to seek God and the fear of God. In fact, you know, seal five is when people are so scared that they really want God to come. They're like, come, please come. You know, so yeah, just ask God and uh, like I say, I'll get back to this next video is going to be about the six identical signs from World War One, which are happening now up until 2026, but three of them have already happened. So God bless you all anyway. Uh, I've been Pastor Prophet Justin Roberts from End of the Age Bible Prophecy. God bless you all. Amen.